The New Forest Higher Level Stewardship Scheme is supporting the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust to stop the spread of invasive plants that have been introduced to the New Forest. The threat facing the forest is from an invasion of non-native plants such as Himalayan balsam, Japanese knotweed, parrot's feather, New Zealand pygmyweed and American skunk cabbage. These grow quickly, spread rapidly and outcompete our native wildflowers. The challenge is to halt this invasion and conserve the forest's unique habitats, which are recognised as internationally important. Many of these non-natives found today in the New Forest were introduced in Victorian times when there was a craze for wild gardening. However, they soon jumped the garden fence to invade the surrounding countryside. One such plant, the New Zealand pygmyweed, was introduced for our garden ponds in the early 20th century and has invaded an alarming proportion of the ponds on the open forest. In 2009, a number of organisations recognised the urgent need to stop this spread and established the New Forest Non-Native Plants Project. Using HLS funding, the project is trialling methods to control New Zealand pygmyweed in a number of ponds carefully selected by Dr Naomi Yalt, who has been studying New Forest ponds for many years. We want to know, are they having a negative impact? Not much work has been done to really find out whether that's the case. And then the second thing is, if it is having an impact, um, is there anything we can do to remove the invasive plants without damaging the native plants? In consultation with the verderers and other relevant organisations, three methods have been chosen for use in the trials. All three methods are considered safe for people and for commoners livestock. The first of these is a glyphosate based herbicide called Roundup Pro Bioactive. The second one is a clever technique using a hot foam which will superheat the ground and cook the plant in front of you. The native species should grow back from the seed. And then the third option, when the crashel is growing in the water as it is here, is to use a dye which will colour the water black and block out the sunlight, thereby preventing the invasive weed from growing. Following the treatments, Naomi will monitor the ponds to study the control methods and their effects on the native plants and invertebrates. The aim is to find a technique which will effectively eradicate the New Zealand pygmyweed, whilst allowing other species to survive in the long term. HLS offered the chance to explore and experiment with new techniques. It also brought together a number of key organisations in the efforts to stem the invasion of these non-native plants into the forest. It will be at least 12 months after the trials before the true effectiveness can be measured. We will then have a far better idea about which techniques are suitable for controlling these invasive plants in the future.